hi everyone i'm nancy welcome to my channel to my subscribers thank you thank you for stopping in spending a few minutes of your day with me i truly appreciate your support if you are new to my channel i hope that you click on that little red subscribe button over there i would love to have you come back and join us for any other videos and today as you can see i have got a you, th you might think i'm cleaning out my closet but no i don't even know where to put them in my closet right now so anyway they have been having some incredible, incredible sales at the stores lately because, of course, the stores aren't open and they need to kind of move their merchandise. So if you can take advantage of these sales, it is a great uh, way to get a, some nice new items in your wardrobe, whether you're getting some fall items for next year or some nice spring summer items for the season. Anyway, so I have got some items here from Kohl's. They had... Um, some apartment nine jeans and i've had some really good luck with those jeans so um they had some unclearance and when i went online to check them out they only had one size and it was my size what are the chances of that so i got two pairs of jeans from uh, kohl's for nine dollars a piece so i'm excited to try those on i got and i think i got a graphic tee in there too from them and um let's see old navy i had watched uh lara from little box of happy open her uh sale items from old navy because she looks great in anything anyway but anyway there were some items there that she had that um i like so right after i watched her video i went to the old navy store and i got a blazer and some shoes from them after i got them they they were just so nice that i went back online to see if they had any other patterns on that uh, jacket but they didn't even have that online anymore so things are moving real, really fast um i got some items here from mix and match that i've collected over the last couple of weeks and um, some of them are at 50 60 and some of them are even at 70 percent off for their final days so i'm excited to try those on hoping that they fit because of course they are non-returnable um ever reap so i had uh, taken advantage of some of the uh the sale items that they had at ever reap and on the, their sale i mean everything on store is 10 percent off but then they also have like a sale section of things that could be up to 50 percent off sometimes even more so I got a couple of those items and then a couple of days ago I got an email from Ever Eve um, that they are thanking their customers for um, continuing to purchase online and keep everything moving so they are offering if you spend a hundred dollars on the Ever Eve site they will give you 10% off for the rest of the year uh, so I thought that was like an incredible thing to um, do that and that way too on Trendsend if you get something in your Trendsend box and you only like one thing you can still get 10% off so I'm excited to be able to use that discount so I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to mix and match these items but I'm looking forward to giving it a try the sweater that I'm wearing is also from Ever Eve so when I stand up and I'm I'm going to try to do it kind of like I've done my last few videos where I kind of fast uh, forward the try on and just kind of go up to the uh, lens and show you some of the uh, the finer points of it and then list the prices below i think because of my chattiness i think that's probably the way to go for me right now so anyway thank you for joining me um i'll come back at the end and say goodbye
Ah, you caught me. So anyway, after all that, I needed a cup of coffee. So anyway, I am loving my caramel coffee from Coburn's. It's a store brand, but it is so, so good. And I got the uh, Wake Me Up Coffee Company or something, caramel, caramel vanilla creamer. Love it. So I'm going to have to try to go back to the store. Hopefully tomorrow it won't be so busy so I can kind of run in and run out after work. So anyway, thank you everyone for joining me. I hope that... Um, of course, I haven't put this all together yet. I have no idea how long it's going to be. I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible with fast forwarding through the try on, putting a little bit of music behind it, make it a little bit more interesting for you to watch and uh, put the, uh, whether it was Ever Eve Coles, Old Navy or whatever. Um, I forgot.
I believe, Coles. Mix and match. So anyway, I'm going to try to put that in the description on each uh, section as I start that new video um, and what it is. Of course, the mix and match items aren't available anymore. I don't know if they're going to come back. They did close their boutique. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, hoping that they do uh, come back stronger than ever. Um, hoping if that's they were just trying to get some money coming in while they restructured. I hope I did my part and helped. Um, actually, you may have noticed this dress. This um, dress from Mix and Match, I actually got this in one of my beginning beginning boxes about two years ago when I uh, first started Mix and Match. And it was on their Facebook page and I just fell in love with it and I had asked for it. I haven't worn it in over a year. But um, anyway, so when it was on the boutique, I said, well, you know, I already had this dress. Um, nah, I'll pass. And then when it was 70% off and it was still in my new size, I said, yeah, that's it. That's a sign. I'm going to get it. So I did get this dress and I am just loving it again. It's just slip over the head. It's a nice jersey material. It was really comfortable before. It's going to be even more comfortable now. And then this other dress from Mix and Match. I had seen other people get this dress and I, I had kept wanting it, but it was never available in my size. So this time for 70% off, it was. So anyway. I think I'm going to enjoy wearing these dresses this summer or spring or, yeah, I don't know if it's going to warm up, but I'm, I'm thinking it's going to eventually, right? So anyway, the governor this week did open up some parks again in Minnesota. He, they were open originally for social distancing, but people were not social distancing. They kept having like groups of 50 to 100 people, just um, everyone would congregate, so they closed them. They opened it up again with a kind of like a warning to maintain the social distancing or they would be closed again. Hopefully people listen this time. They did open up the lakes to go boating. So because that is kind of like social distancing other than if you have a party boat. But hopefully these people are just taking their family and not getting together with a whole bunch of uh, family and friends and neighbors or whatever. So to kind of keep that social distancing or they will close that again. And they opened up golf courses and they want uh, everyone just to take either walk or use a single cart and maintain social distancing. So we'll see how that works. I know there were protests um, just about everywhere on Friday. Um, people, you know, outside the governor's mansion and the state houses and other states and, you know, wanting the... Uh, and, and it's just weird because when the, President Trump had said about wanting to get back to normal, everyone jumped all over him that blah, 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 blah. And then all the people are at their state houses, mad, now mad at the governor for not opening up. So I can't figure it out. But I know the social distancing did work. I know it did help slow the spread. I do feel bad for everyone that, you know, um, is unemployed because of this. And I'm hoping that once they get this under control, that everyone's going to be back open and everyone is just going to be raring to go out to the restaurants and go shopping. But in the meantime, shopping. Oh my gosh, all these stores are having such incredible sales. So if you can take advantage of it, I highly recommend taking advantage of it. It's a nice distraction as well. And um, so anyway, I'm going to get into editing this and um, hopefully it won't go too long because I'm going to be drinking my coffee. So expect some typos. That's all I'm saying. Expect some typos. But go out, everyone. Be safe. Take care of yourself. Wash your hands whenever possible. Every time I touch something, you know, whether it's the mail for work or the mail for home, uh, getting packages at work, getting packages at home, spray them down. I wash my hands. Hope everyone is doing the same. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your family. And uh, let me know what you think. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And we'll chat again soon, everyone. Bye-bye.